You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough, except when I've had enough. But there's lots of fun stuff. I'm Caillou, Caillou, Caillou. I'm Caillou. <laughs> That's me. One, two, boom. <laughs> Was frightened. He'd never heard such a loud noise coming from outside before. Gilbert, there you are. <gasps> it's okay, Gilbert. It's just a bad storm. Poor Caillou was trying to reassure Gilbert, but the flashes and thunder scared him too. And when Caillou is scared at night, he needs mommy and daddy. Come on, Gilbert, in here, quick! Daddy? 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 <laughs> it's all right, Caillou, I'm coming! I'm coming! Caillou? Caillou? Where are you? In here. There you are. Why are you hiding in the closet? I don't like storms, Daddy. Yes, I know. Hey, let's go see if a mug of hot chocolate will make you feel better. Okay. Thunderstorms make a lot of noise, don't they? Oh! It's only the wind, Caillou. I'll shut the window. Um. Caillou was glad his daddy closed the curtains. But he was still feeling a little scared. Mmm, delicious. How's yours, Caillou? Ah! Daddy, make it go away. Let's both try to make it go away. How? When I was a boy, storm scared me too. But Grandma taught me the counting game. Do you want me to show you how it works? When the lightning flashes, we start to count. Then when the thunder booms, we stop. It'll make it go away. Do you want to try? One, two, two three. three. Now, next time we count, we'll reach a higher number. And that means the storm is moving away. It does? If I count quickly, will it go away faster? Now that Caillou and Daddy were playing the counting game, the storm wasn't as scary anymore. <laughs> yes, Caillou. It'll boom again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I counted to seven. Last time I only counted to five. It works. The storm is going away. You're right. And now I think it's time for bed. Hop to it. <laughs> okay, Daddy. With the storm moving away and Gilbert by his side, Caillou felt safe and happy again. Out of the woods. Caillou couldn't wait to explore the forest with Mrs. Martin and his friends from daycare. Today we're going on a treasure hunt. It'll be lots of fun. Yay! What kind of treasure? Caillou had never been on a treasure hunt in the forest before. Well, I'll find something special. Then you can bring your treasures home. <laughs> Look at those funny pictures. <laughs> can anyone guess what those are? Animal feet? That's right, Leo. They're footprints. This is a bird, a rabbit, a deer, and that's a bear. It's huge. Grr. Caillou was excited about what he'd find in the forest. Let's take a look at those.
those lily pads. See how they grow in water instead of the ground? Caillou thought he had found a wonderful treasure in the pond. They're called tadpoles. They're baby frogs. <gasps> There's another one. He ate that fly. Ew. Ribbit. <laughs> ribbit. <laughs> ribbit. Ribbit. <laughs> What's that? Well, let's look for clues. Look at this stick. It's got lots of marks on it. That's a great treasure, Leo. Those are teeth marks. Does anyone know what kind of animal has strong enough teeth to do that? It has brown fur and a big flat tail and big front teeth. A beaver? That's right. And that's the beaver's house. It's called a dam. Beavers have to chew on wood or their teeth will keep growing. That's a beaver's house? Can we peek inside? We don't want to disturb them, Caillou. It's important to leave nature as we found it. Come on, there's lots more to see in the forest. Caillou wondered what they would see next. Hey! Let me show you a good trick, Caillou. Hold on to the branch and pretend you're holding a door open. Christmas tree. Caillou thought it would make the best Christmas tree ever. And it even came with its own decorations. Ow! Careful. Pine trees have needles instead of leaves. Caillou thought a pine cone would make a great treasure. I saw it first. No, Caillou, it's mine. There are plenty of other treasures in the forest. If you keep looking, you could find something even better. Caillou wondered what could be better than the pine cone. He was excited to see what he could find next. There is one ring for every year of the tree's life. Let's count them to see how old it was. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it must have been very old. Seven, eight, nine, Ten, eleven, twelve. Caillou wanted to know where the strange noise was coming from. Suddenly, Caillou felt alone and frightened. He hadn't gone far, but he couldn't see the others anymore. Caillou? Caillou? I'm here! Oh, Caillou, it's very easy to get lost in the woods. You have to stay with the group. But I heard a funny noise and I wanted to see what it was. It sounded like someone knocking on the door. Shh. Let's be very quiet and see if we hear it again. See? It's a woodpecker. He's looking for bugs for his dinner. Can I have some berries? You have to be careful, Caillou. Not all berries are good to eat. Those blackberries would make a nice snack. You, Caillou, and he'll leave you alone. Whoa. Caillou was upset because he was the only oh. one who still hadn't found a treasure. Okay, everyone, time to go. Let's get cleaned up. Maybe you should wash up in the stream, Caillou. Hmm. <gasps> 
thought the rock was beautiful. What do you have there, Caillou? I found a rock. It's huh? a turtle. Caillou had found the best treasure of all. He was hiding in that rock. That's a shell. Turtles carry their houses on their backs for protection. He's cute. Don't crowd him. Turtles are very shy. Come on, Caillou. It's time to go. Can I keep him? You'd be taking him a long way from home. Caillou wanted to keep the turtle, but he knew he'd be happier in the forest. Bye, turtle. See you next time. Caillou? Caillou? Where are you? Now, what's my laundry basket doing there? Look, Mommy! I'm a turtle! This is my new house! <laughs> <laughs> There you go, Rosie. Do you need help with your spaghetti, Caillou? I'm not a baby like Rosie. I can do it myself. <gasps> can I call Grandma? Sure. Let me dial for you. I can do it. Caillou knew there was a special button on the telephone with Grandma's name on it. He didn't want Mummy to help him. Hi, Daddy. What are you doing up there? Hi, Caillou. I'm painting the porch to make it good as new again. Can I paint with you? Grandma says I'm good at painting. I'm sorry, Caillou, but this is a different kind of painting. Painting a house is a big job. I can do it, Daddy. Maybe when you're a bit older, okay? Why don't you go paint a picture for Grandma instead? Caillou was very disappointed. He wanted to help his daddy, and he wanted to show he could do things himself. Uh, mommy! But Caillou still needed help sometimes. I can't reach. Here you go. Come on, Rosie. Nap time. <laughs> Caillou liked his finger paints, but he still wished he could paint the house with Daddy. Caillou wanted to show Daddy that he could paint a house. Caillou was very pleased. He couldn't wait to tell Daddy what a good job he'd done painting Rosie's dollhouse. Hi, Caillou. How's Grandma's picture coming along? I painted Rosie's dollhouse. That sounds like a great picture. Hold my brush while I finish up, and then you can show it to me. What's that? It's a sign that warns people that the paint is still wet. Caillou hadn't thought of putting up a wet paint sign. He thought it was a great idea. Is this what you painted for Grandma? paint sign, like yours. Daddy was beginning to wonder what Caillou had been painting. Gilbert! Caillou wished he'd known about the sign before he left Gilbert alone with wet paint. Oh, no! What a mess! Caillou felt bad for making a mess. He had wanted to show Daddy what a good job he could do. I'm sorry, Daddy. Your finger paints are for paper. You mustn't use them anywhere else unless Mommy or Daddy says so. I wanted to help you paint the house. I don't think you're ready for that yet. But you can help me clean up this mess. How's the job going? Great! With Caillou's help, Daddy was able to clean up the mess and even fix Rosie's dollhouse. Don't forget the wet paint sign! Caillou's Thanksgiving. are having fun, I see. Daddy, what did you buy? Did 
you buy something for me? Let's see. I have carrots, potatoes, squash, lettuce, peppers, and onions. Oh, here's something for you. Caillou didn't know what it was. It looked like corn, but the greens had all sorts of colors. Can I eat it? <laughs> no, that's for decorating, Caillou. It's corn that has been left out in the sun to dry. We'll put it on the table for our Thanksgiving centerpiece. And we have a lot of preparations to do. We better get to work. Caillou wanted to continue playing in the leaves. But it wasn't much fun playing Yay. alone, so he decided to help with the Thanksgiving preparations. Why are you crying, Daddy? Because Mommy made me cut the onions, and they make me cry. <laughs> I don't like onions. Here, Rosie. Would you like to help Caillou? Yes. Here, you can break this into small pieces for the stuffing. Caillou liked to help Mommy and Daddy cook, but he wanted to go out and play with Gilbert even more. Bread, bread, me too! Caillou! Here, Rosie, you have to make little pieces, okay? No, Rosie! Mommy, Rosie is eating the bread. <laughs> Are you hungry, Rosie? I'll fix you something else. Caillou, where did he go? <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> I want to play too! Hey! There's too much wind. Let's play in the house, Gilbert. There you are. Can you help me by setting the table, please? Perfect. Isn't it pretty? Honey, I can't find the peas. I'll be right there. Do you think you can finish this on your own, Caillou? Caillou didn't really want to set the table anymore. He was distracted by the colorful centerpiece that Mommy had created. But he felt that it wasn't quite perfect yet. This should go on top. Oops. Oh, no! Apple! Give it back, Rosie! It goes on the table. No! Apple for Rosie. Oh, no, Caillou. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Why don't you finish setting the table and I'll pick up the rest later. Then you could come and help us in the kitchen, okay? Caillou was beginning to feel like this was a lot of work. Here, why don't you put these in the basket for me? I don't want to help anymore. But, Caillou, Thanksgiving is a special day to be thankful for all the good food we're so lucky to have. That's why we all have to help to prepare a big feast, so we can sit together and give thanks. And we also remember how very lucky we are to have such a wonderful family to share all this good food with. Here, taste this. Mmm! Oh! Grandpa and Grandma are coming over later to share Thanksgiving with us. Oh, look at the time. We can just make it if everyone helps out. I can help. Caillou understood that Thanksgiving was a special day, and he wanted to help Mommy and Daddy prepare the feast. And besides, all that food smelled so good that he was beginning to get a little hungry. Gilbert, it's not time to play now. I have to help Mommy and Daddy. I can help Mommy decorate. Good idea, Gilbert. Look, Gilbert. Everyone will have a leaf. Even you. Caillou was very proud of having decorated the table for Thanksgiving supper. And with the leftover leaves, Caillou had an idea for a game. Gilbert, no! Oh, and the table.
table's not set yet. I set the table, Mommy. Oh? Thank you, Caillou. Happy Thanksgiving! Mmm, that turkey smells wonderful. Come on in. Hello, Caillou. Oh, what's this? It's my game. You have to follow me and step on every leaf. Caillou was very proud that everyone was following him and playing his Thanksgiving game. He was anxious to show everyone his special decorations that he had placed on the table. What a beautiful idea! Everyone has one. This is a nice surprise, Caillou. You did a wonderful job. Are we all ready to have a feast? Yeah! Rosie hardly ate anything. That's because she's been eating all day. Caillou has been a great help. Right, Caillou? Ah-ha-ha! I caught you sneaking a bite. <laughs> Gilbert loves your pumpkin pie, Grandma. And so do I. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Do, do, do.